Okay, hi everyone. So let's get back into our half step rules exploration. And I have to admit, I'm not as familiar with these next two categories of half step rules, uh, but they are so modular and, you know, puzzle like um, that, you know, when you're in the middle of improvising, you can just, you'll just, you'll just see it, right? Um, this is the second of three videos on this topic. The last video was how to do the half step rules on the dominant seventh, which is what's very commonly talked about in class. But uh, what you don't hear as much about is the major rule. And uh, so we'll get into that right now. And all of the others will be linked in the description as usual. So. Just like in the seventh rules, you have um, a set of rules for the root, third, fifth, and seventh, and a set of rules for the second, fourth, and sixth. Okay, um, but this gets a little a little more involved. You have a few more choices. So uh, <clears throat> when you start on the root, okay, you can do again. You have a choice of one half step or three half steps. And the locations of those half steps are uh, one half step would be between the sixth and the fifth. So, right? And this actually resembles the sixth diminished scale. It's like a major scale with an extra note between the fifth and the sixth. Okay. So, our first rule then from the root descending major. And the three half steps are six to fifth, third to second, second to root. So the second option would be one, two, three, four, eight. Eight. Okay, so that's the rule. Now, when you start to get into the third, fifth, and seventh, you start to open up some other possibilities. Those same two rules apply, so let's take a look at it from a line beginning from the third of, again, the people's key of C, uh, starting on E. So I can go, I can come right down the scale, put the half step between the sixth and the fifth, right, and then you have this, one, two, three, four. Right? I could come down and add the three half steps at the bottom, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. I could do the three on the top. One, two, three, four. A. Right? So, a couple of choices there. I guess I could do them both too. Oops. This would be the point in class where Barry would say, you just gotta make it work out. And I guess that's what this is. This is just a bunch of a bunch of pathways for you to essentially get yourself out of trouble. That's the whole name of the game, is finding a lot of different ways of getting yourself out of trouble. So uh, we were on the third, let's get to the fifth. Same two rules, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, three. seven. Now for seven, you get into trouble up here. So I think the way I interpret this, you don't do the rule on the top. You wait until you land further down. So you'll just come down the thick scale and let's say I'm doing one half step. I'd come down the three, two, one, seven, six, the half step. So I'm going to go. So that one half step would come in on the bottom of it. Uh, and then I, if I did the three half steps, it would be again after I began. I wouldn't start it up here. That would start to throw me off. Okay, so I guess for the seventh, 
you start to come right down the scale and then a few notes in, that's where you apply the rule. So that's the first option, but now you have actually a whole second option here. Okay, the second option is um, you can put three half steps between third and the second, the seventh and the sixth, and the sixth and the fifth. So you end up having the two in a row here between the seventh and the fifth. Okay, so you have. Uh, and again, this only works on the third, fifth, and seventh. It doesn't really work. It doesn't work on, on the loop. See, this is where it starts to get a little bit more involved than the seventh was. But here I am. step and then the other three half steps. One and three. That's a really pretty one and you don't hear it very often. So that's the three rule, the three half step rule from the fifth. The one half step rule from the fifth. Three half step rule from the fifth. Seventh, and again, I continue first. No, actually, on this one, I have a choice. On this one, I could start the three half steps on the top. Right? Or put them at the bottom. Right? and match right now now it's just like well I don't know what I did but I somehow made it land so you, you can't overthink this I think that it goes by too fast uh, you know roughly where you're gonna where you're gonna put those half steps and then that that's your that's your get out of jail card <laughs> if you're lucky okay so um, so th that's one three five seven and also the root for two four and six, uh, the root, you get either no half steps, just like in the dominant seventh family, four, six, which means just coming right down the scale. For, uh, or you could put two half steps, and again, you have two choices where to put those half steps. Your first is to go between the second and the tonic and the sixth. 5th and 6th, 6th and 5th, so, right, 2nd and tonic, 6th and 3rd, wait, 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 2nd six, six, and tonic, there it is, okay, um, and 6th, um, Second and tonic. Okay. And set, and uh, that was it, right? Two, four, and six. The other choice is to go two half steps between the seventh, sixth, and the sixth and the fifth. So you have this same trio over here between B and G, between the seventh and the fifth, you have that from those scale degrees as well, from two, four, and six. Let's see what that sounds like. put them all together one by one okay uh, so tonic with one half step tonic with three half steps okay second with no half steps second with the first type of 
two half step. Okay. And the second type. Okay. The third with one half step. First type of three half step. And the second type. Subtle differences, but really nice ones. Um, fourth with no half steps. Fourth with version one of two half steps. second version okay fifth with one right notice I'm tapping one and three as I'm doing this I might not be keeping perfect time but I'm trying to connect the, the rhythm in my body with what I'm playing I'm trying to just do that so that I have that you know Pavlovian response whenever there's a beat okay uh, so where was I? The fifth with one, fifth with three, right? Um, and the other version of three. Uh, did I do that? I think I did that. Okay, I'm getting confused myself. Um, and then um, we're on the fifth. Let's do six now with no half steps. Six with two half steps, version one. No. Oh, I'm stuck. What happens with the six? Second and tonic, sixth and fifth. the seventh with one half step and again I'm gonna do it on the bottom not on the top that's gonna throw me off on the top That's all of them. Okay, so the descending major, what he calls it here on the, the, the sheet that you get when you come to class, uh, the descending major rules, a little bit more involved than the seventh rules, um, because now you have some choices about where you put those half steps. Uh, but the more choices, the better right the whole name of the game is being able to make sure that those down that those chord tones are in the downbeats and that you can get yourself out of trouble so that you don't you know, you know fall down that you can always land on your feet um okay so that's that's the end of chapter two of the the clearest outline that i can do uh, of the half step rules um and uh the next one will be uh, looking at the minor rules, which is very cool because here's a little teaser. What happens when you have to put a half step between the third and the second, right? Like, but there is already a half step between the third and the second. What are we gonna do then? Well, that's what he says over here. That's that little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna outline that on the next video, which will talk about the minor rules. And then we have three videos that just line it all up as clearly as possible, how to execute 
um, smoothly and rhythmically the Barry Harris half-step rules. Uh, oh, and one other, one other thing about the major, or oh, the seventh, right? In okay, case so this little bonus, if you made it this far. You know, Bach has a two-part invention that goes like this. <laughs> the half step in 1725 ish right puts the half step in that's an e7 with a half step with one half step rule barry would say bach stole it from him because he was in the ether so he stole it from the ether from the Baroque where the half step rules were a thing. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. If this is useful, you want to support me with this content, please consider visiting my Patreon page, uh, patreon.com slash Isaac Roz. Uh, and, uh, you know, stay safe and uh, keep swinging out there. See you on the next one.